Hello, everyone. I have some great news. Automations for D&D 2024 are here. What this means is that you never have to go into your character sheet again if you don't want to. You can simply focus on the story, focus on the action, and keep everything moving at your pace. So I'm going to run us through a very, very quick, very example scenario here. So as a GM, I know that this is a mimic right here, but our party doesn't know. So our fighter wants to investigate it, and he's going to do a perception check. So we can simply press our skills button and do a perception check right from here without ever going into the sheet. So he rolls an 11. And so for our example right now, that's going to fail. So he goes, oh, oh, cool, this chest is totally safe. Oh no, it's not. Here's our mimic. This is using our foreground reaction layer to uh, shift the animation. So we go, oh no, okay, now we go into combat. Now the wizard goes, hey, I want to ice this guy up. So Ray of Frost automatically rolls. We've also programmed in some cool special effects. You saw that spell go off. Let's do it again so you can see it. Big magic explosion, sending a ridiculous gift to chat. These are all things you can do with macros to customize however you see fit. That's our fighter's turn. And he's going to attack with his greatsword. So we just click our greatsword button. It's going to roll the attack. We're going to have a little bit of splatter animation there and make it super fun. And with a 22, that hits. Because our AC here is 12. So let's roll some damage. For 11 damage. Let's take 11 damage. So minus 11. There we go. Down to 38 health. And now our cleric's going to step in. And what do... What do we want to do? We're going to cure some wounds because let's say, uh, let's say actually this, this fighter was already down some health. Let's do minus seven. Oof. Yeah, let's, uh, let's cure some wounds over here. You get to select the spell level. Ah, uh, that's, uh, that's upcast. Have another cool effect in there. So this is just an example of how quickly the pace of a game can go using macros and token actions. Um, it is really, really simple to set this up as well. So let us just go into a character sheet to show that off. I'm going to open my wizard here. And for any skill or ability or action, we can simply go right into it. There is this little three dot menu now. You can simply click add action to token bar. Sleep was added to the token action bar. Oh, wonderful. Let's close the sheet down. Now, next time I click on my wizard, the sleep button, uh, the button to cast sleep, will be right there. Let's click it. And in this case, it sends the description right to chat so you can see all the details and everything you need. Great. Same thing goes for NPCs as well. Um, you can just open the character sheets and we're going to put this into compact view briefly. There we go. Let's say we want to turn bite into an auto action here. So same thing. We go to bite, add action to token bar. Bite has been added to the token action bar. Perfect. Now, next time to click on the mimic, we now have this bite button. So we can auto roll. Send everything right to chat. Okay. Additionally, um, there are many other ways to get the content you need. So let's open this, open the character sheet again. And let's uh, click the pseudopod attack. You can also go into your chat menu and click the up arrow and you'll get the direct macro code um, to trigger that action anytime. So hitting enter there, rolls it again, and you can copy and paste that into your macro menu. You can customize macros however you see fit. So let's uh, open this wizard again. Let's go to advanced tools and let's look at our uh, magic missile spell. I've already preset some extras in here. 
So when you create an action, it's going to simply just auto fill in the attack or spell or action, whatever it is, into the macro command. But we can customize it how we see fit. So in this case, I put a little command for um, us to send the chat that we're conjuring three glowing darts of magical force and the text to cast magic missile, adding some visual effects here that everyone has access to, FX beam magic and FX explode magic. And so let us go out and see how that would look. So magic missile, choosing our target. It's gonna roll for each missile. And trigger our effect. Here we go, the wizard conjures three glowing darts of magical force. So you can check this out right now. All of this is live on roll 20. Everybody has access to macros and automations. And let us know what you think. Uh, we think this is a huge asset for anyone playing D&D and the ability to jump right in and not have to know any code or any advanced features on Roll20 and be able to very quickly just go, hey, let's add this bar. Let's add this action to our token bar and have it there forever to use in the future. It's really powerful. I hope you enjoy it. Have a good day.